Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to go over some of the new features that are in the Affinity Designer 1.6 beta. Uh, they added some really cool stuff, especially if you're into text and stuff like that. Uh, so let's uh, just kind of get right into this. Before we do, I just want to say uh, I haven't had a lot of videos up for a bit. Uh, I've been kind of just super busy with things. Um, I'm still going to be another busy for like a week or two, but then I'm going to get back into it hardcore. I got some really cool stuff coming up, so make sure you're following. And uh, with that said, let's jump into uh, some of the big new stuff. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice before anything is just like, oh my gosh, everything's got that gray look. Yes, there is a light mode to this. Um if you're used to Affinity Designer and you've been using it, you have probably are used to this look, which you can still do if you like, or if you prefer, now there is an option for light mode, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, that's cool. And there there was some adjustments. You can adjust things even further if you want with the, the colors and stuff for light mode. Uh, let's just keep on going here. We got uh, text. I would say text is the biggest thing that has there's just a lot of really cool updates when it comes to text so let's just type out affinity here and let me show you some of the cool stuff right off the bat here uh, when you're in your characters and you got everything selected now you can go through like uh, photoshop does this and you can go through and kind of just see all the fonts and it's got the little you know things here and everything so the thing I kind of like about this better than Photoshop uh, is just how easy it is to like heart something and it's a little more organized as you can kind of go down and you know, it's, it's in like a little sub uh, folder for everything and it just keeps everything a lot more organized. I think um, also actually, if you do one up here uh, you know, Photoshop does have, stuff like this, but, uh, I don't know, man. I actually like, uh, how affinity designer has it laid out better. So, uh, you know, something that's really, a lot of people have been looking forward to, and I'm glad to see it as well. So the next thing you're going to notice over here is, uh, now we have glyphs. Uh, so let's go right down to like, uh, wingdings too, because you know. So now we can just go through and look at them all. Let's actually. Oh, I thought we could. I thought. Oh, it's up here. Uh, let's just go to largest size. Okay, so now we can really see everything. Uh, you can do. You can just put your text cursor wherever, and if you click into here, um, double click, you can just add them. So. That is something really cool. You can highlight and double click and there you go. So those are the big things. And there's just one more uh, big thing in the pixel persona. And let's make a new pixel layer here. Um, okay, so the new thing is this is how you drew before. I'm just using the mouse and let's just kind of maybe, uh, let's command Z that and just try to make a circle here and that's about as good of a circle as I can do with the mouse. Now, up here, we now have stabilizer. And what that does is as you start drawing, it kind of like pulls out this little thing and makes it a lot easier to kind of draw with your mouse with. So, uh, still not perfect, but I tell you what, if I drew that three times with this, it would be a lot better than, you know, doing it with the mouse. So those, I think in my, you know, uh, kind of going through this and playing with it, those are the biggest features, but there is a lot of, uh, stuff and you can download this right now. It is available. Uh, they put up a blog. If you go to, uh, their blog section, um, and then you click this to get it. This is going to take you over to the thing and you're going to click through a couple more menus and uh, you can download this and try it for yourself. So uh, a couple things real quick to note, if you do try it for yourself, uh, Affinity 1.6 files are kind of in their own. They don't open back up in 1.5. So, you know, don't just kind of use it to play around with. I wouldn't really do anything huge in this. Um, 
And let's just kind of go through the the new things first. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. So uh, the light UI showed you that pan and zoom uh, goes a lot better. You know that's good performance. Uh, performance with large documents. Uh, the drop down showed you that glint browser stroke stabilizer. We just went over that. Uh, you know, like all this other stuff is cool, and you know, a lot of line stuff and, um, uh, you know, better PDF stuff. There's just a lot of really cool things. And I just wanted to make a video to kind of show you guys. So, uh, I don't know when it's coming out. I've kind of kept re reading through all the forums and, uh, you know, there's obviously no like hard release date. They're still working out bugs and I think it's going to take a bit still, but hopefully we get 1.6, uh, hopefully, you know, kind of early summer, mid summer, I'm guessing. I don't know. I think we still got a ways to go because they, they released a video even, you know, I want to say three months ago, maybe two to three months ago before the beta. So I would say we'd have another two to three months if I had to guess, but you never know. Uh, that's what's going on. Uh, make sure you're subscribing to my channel. Cause, uh, I got a lot of cool tutorials coming up in affinity and, Definitely, as they update this beta, uh, I, I don't think these are going to be the only new features. I think there's other new features coming as well. And, uh, you know, as those come out and as the betas uh, keep getting updated, I'm going to keep showing them off and letting you guys know what's coming on. But definitely, if you're really interested, go ahead and download it and check it out for yourself. All right. I'll see you guys next time.